In this video, we'll take a look at creating art brushes, which are particularly useful when we want some object, for instance, a floral ornament or a ribbon like the one you can see here, follow a path we created. So let's grab the ribbon, go to the new brush option in the brushes panel, and choose art brush. Now let's give the brush a name. And let's quickly explore the most important settings we have here. Now, the width adjusts the width of the art relative to its original width. You can specify the width using uh, this width option slider. Now, then we got the brush scale options, but I think that instead of just talking about them, let's take a look at what results we are going to get each time we change these values. So first I'm going to go with the scale proportionately option. And this time I'll create a simple straight line because I think that this way it will be the easiest for you to understand what's going on here. And now let's apply the brush stroke. Now let's go to the brushes options and change brush scale to stretch to fit stroke length and let's apply that to strokes. And you can already see the changes it made to our brush. But the real fun begins with the Stretch Between Guides option. When we select it, we get an option to tell Illustrator which parts of the image we want to stretch. In my case, I only want to stretch the middle part of the ribbon, so I'll move the guides a bit inward. And now when I change the length of the line, you can see that I'm either contracting or expanding only the middle part of the ribbon. And you can get a lot of creative effects with this option. For instance, if we create an, an ellipse and apply our brush stroke to it, and then delete one of the anchor points, the ribbon starts to look completely, completely different, and the effects you can get from playing around to it with the art brush are limitless. Remember though that Illustrator won't let you create art brushes if your artwork contains gradients, blends, other brush strokes, mesh objects, bitmap images, graphs, placed files, or masks. Other than that, you are good to go. So these are the essential options to know about when creating art brushes. I encourage you to experiment with them and see for yourself what spectacular effects you can achieve without much effort.